Today's review is going to be on the Gamo P25 blowback CO2 powered pellet pistol. What we have here, as you can see, it's a compact pistol. It has a polymer slide, polymer frame. The CO2 cartridge is held in the grip. Pull off the bottom cover here. There's the piercing screw, which does fold down. It uses a detachable, double-sided, eight-shot rotary magazine. And it's pellets only. I do like the fact that the magazine does have its spring loaded, so it does kind of shoot out when you hit the button. Does not lock back on the last round. Again, double action and single action. Non-adjustable three dot white sights. Safety here on the right hand side of the pistol. Push down for safe. Push that back and push up for fire. I never use it. It has a eight pound, seven ounce double action pull and a four pound, 3.8 ounce single action pull. So the single action pull is nice as far as weight wise, but you do still feel the indexing of the magazine when you press the trigger in both double action and single action. So here's a little tip for anyone that has one of these pistols and you're not shooting point of aim, which this pistol was not. This pistol was shooting low left. So of course, for me to bring the impact up, I fouled down the front sight a little bit. And then to get the impact to the right, what I would suggest or what I did was basically this the top Phillips screw here. Take a Phillips screwdriver, pick that screw out. Of course, make sure there's no ammo in the gun, make sure there's no CO2 cartridge in the gun. You know, do this at your own risk. Hold the slide back, and when you do, take the back of the screwdriver and tap the slide. The slide will then come off the pistol. Take the slide off the pistol, take the recoil spring off the pistol. Grab yourself moving grab yourself a punch very close to the diameter of the barrel that it will so it will fit in once you do so grasp the pistol firmly take the punch and then pull the barrel which way you need it to go not too much do a little at a time because you can always you know take the slide back off and make corrections which is what I had to do I think I had to pull the slide off like four times to get it to where I wanted it to shoot. Once you do that, again, put your recoil spring back on, put your slide back on, take the screwdriver, hammer, make sure you line it up, tap it back down, put your screw in, you should be good to go. Little tip for you out there, if you have one of these guns, and like me, you are not shooting, it's not hitting where it's supposed to hit. Or where you aim, I should say. Anyway, next up will be the velocity test, and I'll be using the 7 grain RWS uh, R10 match pellet. So, next up is the accuracy uh, velocity test, I should say. Uh, currently, it's like 73 degrees out. All right, so next up is the accuracy test. This little pistol here. The distance is actually 12 yards, and I'm going to fire five shots. I'll show you what it looks like.
Hot damn. That's what I'm talking about. 12 yards with an action pellet pistol with a short barrel that was originally shooting like it was like way down here. And by grinding the sight and bending the barrel, that's what I'm talking about. Impressive. And actually, you know, I could have, I should have done better than that. But, um, you know, on camera, I'll take that. You got one, two, three, four, and I guess the fifth one is in there somewhere. But I like that. You know, non adjustable sights, and look where I hit five shots at 12 yards. Got the sunlight here. So next up is the shooting portion. This pistol here. I got three cones set up. First cones at eight yards. Second cones at 15. The last cones at 19. The eight yard cone. I'm going to engage the target on the right. The 15, the cane, and the 19, the target on the left. And as you can see, that rapid fire actually started to die down. You know, it has gotten a little cooler, but still. Can't fire this gun too fast. It cools off really quickly. Anyway, let's go take a look at the uh, targets. So the first one was at eight yards. Uh, that's pretty crappy. I did manage to get the cans at 15. And the last target at uh, 19 yards. And although I was aiming center, they were definitely dropping off. They looked to be all to the right for some reason. And I know this gun is shooting center, so. It's definitely me. All right, so to wrap this video up, my thoughts on the Gamo P25 blowback. It is actually a powerful, strong blowback, accurate pellet pistol. Unfortunately, the accurate part, if you're like me, you have to basically correct that yourself. But as you saw from the target group at 12 yards, you know, and I've actually shot target groups in this with that pistol, with this pistol, um, it's damn good. You know, it does have a rifled barrel, so, but I like it. I, um, I'm kind of an oddity. I like... I like uh, full-size um, handguns, or I should say full-size uh, powder burners, but when it comes to the air guns, I like the compact pistols, you know, um, 
One of my favorite pistols is the uh, Daisy 15 XT because it's powerful, it's small, you got 15 shots. I mean, granted, it only shoots BBs, but and there's no blowback. But, um, I mean, I like this pistol, but again, you can't shoot it fast, and it's definitely well suited, more suited for a warmer day. If I could not or did not know how to correct the accuracy on this pistol, this would be another one of those that would go to the wayside. Shame on Gamo for not putting adjustable sights on their pistols along with everyone else that does not put adjustable sights on their pistols. That should be the first thing that comes on the pistol. But anyway, I digress. Um, nice pistol. I enjoy it. Again, if you get one that shoots point of aim, point of impact, congratulations. If you don't, you can remedy that, remedy that issue. If you can't or don't, you probably won't end up keeping it. Anyway, that's it for today.